what is going on guys i'm back with another video and today i am back on mythical ps in today's video we'll be checking out the latest update which is really interesting because they did a complete wilderness revamp and as you can see i am actually in some pvp gear so there will be a lot of interesting topics in today's update now before we get into that as always i will be doing a 50 dollar in-store credit giveaway there will be one lucky winner winning all 50 dollars in-store credits and you'll be able to spend those for any item you want in the donation store worth a up to $50. Now all you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to leave a like and comment your in-game name down below. The winner will be picked in just about two days as always he will be announced in my community discord, in the search discord and on my pinned comment. Links of discords are down below in the description so definitely make sure you join those. So as always, let's start off on the update log, update number 175 to be exact, posted on the 12th of January. So the Wilderness Revamp Phase 1, this will be an update that will come with multiple phases and with each phase there will be more content added to the server, PvP related of course, but anyways, let's have a look to the core changes to Combat and Wilderness. So they added new perks to the Colon Colon Store which will increase Revenant Artifact value by 20% which is very interesting um, we'll also have a look to those perks in game after this real quick as well now all experience gained inside of the wilderness will also be 50% increased and stacks with all other boosts that you will be able to get so that's already amazing if you do some skilling in the wilderness you'll get your stats up a lot faster you can no longer enter the, uh, enter the wilderness with stats above 600. This will eliminate almost every single custom item that there is in the game, meaning that you will no longer be able to enter the wilderness with any custom items. And of course, with that, you will no longer be able to attack players with custom items as well. Now, if you try to equip items with higher stats than above in uh, wilderness, below 20 you will be just teleported out, and above 20 you will be subject to constant bleeding damage. So that means that you will be able to, or you will actually, go ahead and die if you stay in the wilderness for too long now also aoe does not work within the wilderness except for the standard rs aoe's like um, ice barrage blood barrage and so on now weapons with multiple hits will not function within the wilderness as well all perks are disabled within the wilderness and that will also include items like unlimited prayer and aggression also double drop scrolls do not work within the wilderness bank commands are also no longer being able to be used in the wilderness of course that would eliminate the part of pvp where you are not able to bank and you have to actually risk your stuff and mandriff who can be found at edgeville will also buy artifacts sell pvp sets and has a shop for wilderness euros and blood money now i'll get into that in just a second as well the damage buff applied to range does not apply inside of the wilderness same goes for magic and various of the combat formulas have been tweaked to ensure passive does not work in pvp as well now the revenants have also escaped from their cave and you will now be able to find them across the wilderness. So you can slay them down for some great loot and some wilderness euros by selling the artifacts uh, that you get from them to Mandarin. The uh, wilderness boss which is a revenant king has also been added. This will be spawned once every 250 revenants that have been killed. We'll have 30,000 HP, 350 max hit. Now do keep in mind this might seem small for a custom server but this is in the wilderness. So this does seem like quite a lot. Now up to fly, 5 players can obtain a loot from this boss which is very sick. You can get as common drops all different types of artifacts and as rare as you can get VLS Revenant Lantern which will give you 10% damage against revenants which is very beautiful and that will also stack with a deathly ring and then the revenant king token which will uh, restore 25% more or your food will uh, restore 25% more and also some seasonal donation key parts now wilderness euros can be used in a new exclusive store i'll show that in game as well and then um, let's have a look here what will come in phase two so this will be interesting as well to see what will uh, be added in the future so the blood money store uh, will have more and new exclusive rewards added to them you'll have more different bosses within the wilderness wilderness slayer that will be coming and some additional quality of life within the wilderness and of course one of my favorite ones the wilderness collection log so you can actually go ahead and great items specifically in the wilderness. So the next step obviously would be to visit the wilderness and try to get some of the artifacts from some revenants we can find scattered around the wilderness. Now before we do that I want to actually get some upgrades and go to the Mandriff Euro stop or the wilderness euros to be exact. 
So if you talk to Mandrit, first of all, you can sell your artifacts here, but you can buy PvP sets, which is standard a certain amount of money that you can get uh, from pure melee range magic and of course hybrid as well. Now besides that, you can also show your PvP stats. I of course have zero player kills. I also died zero times, so my kill streak is zero and my kill death ratio is unknown. Then you have the PK point store. At this point, the PK point store is still pretty basic, but as you saw in the update log, a lot more items will be added into this store. Now most importantly of all, we have the Wilderness Euro store. This is the most interesting one for me, because in here there are some items that I do want to purchase. First of all, you'll find some standards like $5 bonds, which will cost you 20,000 euros tokens. And then you have the $1 scratch cards, which will cost you 2,000 each. Now, an item that I personally want is the Grand Seed Pot, which will cost me a total of 100,000 of these tokens. Uh, now, as you can see, this will actually be very nice because the Grand Seed Pot will allow me to teleport up to level 30 wilderness, which is a lot better than the level 20 you would normally have. I'm also going to buy this Deathly Ring, which will cost me another 50,000 euros this will actually be very useful because this will increase my pvm melee damage inside the wilderness by 10 percent while i have this equipped so with that of course i also have to buy myself a chaotic rapier eye which is a better version of the re uh, regular chaotic uh, weaponry um, and this can also be used within the wilderness so that's very nice to know as well now besides that you have the revenant soul this you can add only vestal's longsword i don't need this right now so i'm not going to buy it and then also a dismantled manual which costs you 500,000 wilderness euros now this is really nice because you can actually go ahead and read this normally and then you should have the ability um, that will decrease the failure chance when making common salvages so here we go, I found myself some of the revenants in the wilderness. So at the location that the cave would normally be, you just have a bunch of revenants roaming around. Now as you can see, these will range from different types of revenants, starting from of course the imp all the way to the higher levels, which is like the revenant dark knight, the dark beast and so on. Now I'll go over some of the drops because they actually have some different drops, even though you wouldn't expect it, which is something interesting that you will have to keep in mind. Now, of course, some of these drops aren't better than others, especially when looking to the artifacts that you can get. So as you can see, from the Revenant Goblin, I would be able to get myself a broken headdress statue. And then also, of course, a Scarf, Zemrak Medallion, Armadil statue and some of the PvP armors, which is probably the most important thing that you will be able to obtain from here. Got myself some additional Wilderness Heroes. Now, if we would look to the Imps, for example, these would drop the um, Carif as well and also a Codex Brazier. Um, if we go ahead and run a little bit more into it we should find some higher levels like the werewolf here as well if you we have a look at this we'll find the saradomin statue and seren statue as well so a bunch of different items that you'll be able to obtain from here and these artifacts can then be traded in in edgeville Oh nice, I actually got myself an artifact here, which is a broken statue headdress. It's of course one of the common ones, so I don't think this is with a lot of value. 1 in 40 to be exact, but that was on kill count just like 5 or 6. Okay, here we go. We got ourselves some Brawling Gloves Fishing. Of course, this is nothing rare. I cannot send this in for some tokens, but it is really nice because these are giving me additional experience in the wilderness. Oh sick, we just got ourselves an actual good drop. We got ourselves a Morgan's Leather Chaps as a drop from one of the Revenant Goblins. That is sick, because that's actually a rare drop. If we find another Goblin here, let's have a look. It's actually a 1 in 400 to obtain this. Oh yeah, we are going for the full set. We got ourselves the Morgan's Coif as well. All we need now is the Leather Body and we have everything, which would be very sick. Of course, Javelins and Throwing Axes could come in there as well. Yo, is my look insane or what is going on? Because I just got myself another drop, which is a Statue's Warhammer. I'm not even like 50 kills in, by the way. And as you can see, the drops don't stop. We get ourselves another one here. Vestas Plate Skirt on the floor right there. Absolutely amazing. Next up, we get ourselves a Zuriel's Hooter on the floor. Absolutely amazing. Another one into the inventory. Here we have it, I found myself another drop on the floor, which is a Statius Full Helm. We're getting every single drop, we're not getting any duplicates, I'm very happy with that. Maybe we can even finish a full set, or maybe all drops even, before we get to the boss. So as I was saying, I'm gonna get every single drop, and somewhere on the floor, I actually got myself a Morgan's Leather Body. I just need to find it, right here it is, and with that we have the full Morgan's Armor set here, done, which is beautiful.
So we just got a nice little pop-up message. The Revenant King will spawn in 10 Revenant kills. So we are almost done with the Revenant King boss, which is uh, once every 250 kills, if you remember correctly. Now, with that being said, in those kills that I managed to do, which is not 250 because I got my man right here up on the north slaying the Dark Beast. Uh, if we go a little bit to the north, as you can see, we got Sketchpad right there grinding out himself as well. So we should be almost done to get with us 250. 50 kills in total and then go to the boss and hopefully get some really juicy rewards from that as well anyways here it is the revenant king as you can see has a lot of hp of course but if we go to drop table we can also find all the revenant items on here also the good braziers and all the uh, other artifacts but i believe he has a different drop table uh, maybe we can't see it but as you can see special tag from the cannon goes on right there and we get ourselves a nice little ancient statue both of us get it of course or no he actually gets a bridge but i believe the statue is the best one you can get so we will go ahead and try to turn this in and see how much we get for it so let's have a look if we sell our bounty hunter and uh, bounty hunter artifacts from those we got ourselves 100,000 of them to be exact which is insane I think the ancient statuette is 100,000 on its own which is so crazy to see and of course 100,000 of those that would actually equal to a free chaotic weapon I or even the grand seed pot as well which would be a nice little teleport to be more safe when killing uh, the revenants. Now you might have seen that we were doing a lot of damage to the revenants as well as wearing some custom armor. The reason for this is because if we equip this set with the hand cannon we are actually under 600 stats so that means we can still take this into the wilderness and with the expensive hand cannon shots um, we can do a lot of damage so that's why we were able to deal that much DPS. I don't know if this is going to be changed or not but for now this was very helpful with the kills. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure to enter the giveaway. I'll be catching you guys in my next video. So take care and peace.